Welcome to How's the Market Denver. My name is Jason Soroy. I am here today to bring you the April 2022 market trends for the Denver metro area. And I gotta let you know that there are some uh, refreshing stats that I'm reporting on today that I think is gonna give some hope and inspiration to buyers and sellers are still gonna be pretty psyched about the opportunities that lie ahead for them. So let's dive right in. So the April DMAR report indicates we saw the highest increase percentage-wise of active homes available at March month end ever in history. Now, that is because one, inventory was quite low beforehand, so a relatively large jump would serve as a large percentage increase, but that is still a beacon of hope that there is a movement, a trend towards more normal, which we may have to recalibrate what our expectation of normal is, of course. But what did that actually translate to in raw numbers? So we had 995 more homes available at March month end than we had at February month end. And I can tell you from personal experience working with buyers over the last well, month since April 1st, that there is a lot more to choose from when we're setting up our showing tours for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now I should also let you know that that does not mean that the market is getting any easier. We have still had fierce, and I mean especially fierce bidding wars. That is something that we're quite familiar with at this point, but having more homes to choose from is certainly refreshing, right? Homes are still hitting the market on Thursday. We're still doing showings. Friday, Saturday, and most Sunday mornings, but then homes start to go under contract. So be prepared to stay fast. Moving right along, single family homes have reached an average sale price of just shy of 800,000, which is up 18% at this point from last year. And while the attached market clocked an average sale price of 495,000, which is up almost 19% from last year, that is just showing that we have exceptional demand and folks who have had the chance to own for the last 12 or more months, you've got a lot of equity to play with right now. What are you gonna do with that? You could sit on it and watch it continue to grow, which is likely. You could consider a HELOC, a home equity line of credit, um, which is a line of credit that you can tap into when you need it. Not ideal for long-term financing, but good to fund projects for a short period of time. Um, you could do a cash out refinance, maybe pay off some higher interest debts. You got options. So it could be a good idea to start thinking about, hey, I have these, um, uh, this tool, this equity. How could you maybe place those funds? Is it an investment property? What does it look like? Keep that in mind. Now, despite having more homes for buyers to choose from, the mortgage interest rates have also increased. Now, the real estate industry as a whole was anticipating and hopeful that as the uh, mortgage interest rates went through, broke through that 5% price ceiling, that we would see a slowdown in demand causing more balance. It seems like things have actually heated up even more. And I believe that the reason for this is that because the Fed has promised, as they have kept their words so far uh, in 2022, that they are going to increase interest rates again at each of their meetings, which is set to take place throughout the rest of this year. So what that means is money is just going to get more expensive, which seems to be just fueling that buyer demand saying, well, if money's gonna be more expensive in the future, and I think that Denver home prices are gonna to continue to go up, we might as well get in now, which is causing that frenzy to prolong itself. Um, this seems to be an endurance game. So who now is out of the running? Well, not many folks, but some folks who have been shopping at the very top of their price point, um, they're gonna have to start making sacrifices in either home size, home location, or home condition, or any combination of those three things. So realtors, it's important, it's important to set proper expectations with your clients, act fast, and when you see a home that you really love, you're gonna have to make the best offer. And there's a good chance that could mean the highest offer. Keep that in mind. Um, that doesn't mean that the other terms of the contract don't matter because they certainly do. And a well-written, thoughtful uh, offer will certainly stand out in the sea of others. Cool, moving right along here. Now this chart that I'm bringing up on the screen here, month end active listings and month end closed homes is a really nice graph that I don't show in every single one of these videos, but I think it, it's important to bring this back right about now. So if you look at the bottom right hand side, you will notice where the blue line crosses over the yellow orange 
look in line. That was spring of 2020. That was when COVID was just starting out and the housing market uh, really went crazy. People were like, you know, if I'm working from home, I'm gonna need more space and that trend has continued. So the blue line indicates how many homes are closing in a given month. The yellow line indicates how many homes are available at the end of any given month. So when that blue line is above the yellow line, what that tells us is that there are more homes closing in any given month than there are homes available at the end of a given month. That is a factor of speed. Moving right along, uh, in other notable uh, Denver area real estate, uh, Russell Wilson and Ciara, welcome to Inglewood's finest neighborhood, Cherry Hills. Your $25 million mega mansion is oh so fine. Uh, Russell, we're looking forward to seeing you play here at Mile High Stadium. So, uh, oh, excuse me, what is it again? Oh yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you play here at Russell, we're looking forward to seeing you crush it for us. Go Broncos. Right on, you guys. Hey, that's all I got for you this month. Be well, stay smart, write strong contracts to win, and enjoy this beautiful spring weather we've got ourselves. Take it easy.